Okay, moving on. Everyone assembled. Soldiers, as we feared, Rainier is coming. Our mistakes of the past must stay in the past. Today we must hold Rainier at bay. We will meet the enemy at Wooden Shade. The trees there are ideal for fire attacks. We'll lure them into the woods and rain fire upon them. Be alert. I will inform our commanders as we move further into the woods. Rainier is the key. Once he falls, his army will scatter like the chickens they are, and we can continue to the east toward the Holy Ground. Exactly. Rainier first, then the Holy Ground. Let's do this. So I think I've got all my... Yeah, my barracks is pretty much done. Perfect. Infantry archer. My new longbows will be really handy here. Man, I know you've all heard of Rainier. Word is that he shoots lightning from his ass and has eight horns on his head. Well, I tell you, he's only an orc or a heck, maybe even a mindless, brutish ogre, but nothing more. The Dark Legion is built on fear and intimidation. Individually, they may seem bigger and stronger than us, but they can't work together the way that we can. We will strike at its heart and they shall fall. Trust your sword, brothers, and fight on. Together, we will be victorious. Rainier is actually a pretty badass character, besides the fact that he's half nude. Rainier is approaching from the northeast. Gerald and I will taunt Rainier, then retreat to lure his troops to the south. Archers will stand by in the southeast and set the forest ablaze when the enemy passes through. His Majesty will participate in this battle personally. Don't disappoint our king. But he does, he has a really great brooding presence. And he like struts everywhere he goes. He doesn't actually run, which is pretty fucking the enemy. crazy. Near. I got something for ya. Is he human? He must have an orc for a tailor. If he were a human, he would have been fed to the hogs by now. Strange. Gerald, we go by the plan. Your archers will escort his majesty and pull back through the woods. Our troops will lure the pigs into the woods. We're counting on you, Gerald. Yes, sir. I understand. Soldiers, today his majesty is with us. Make his majesty proud. The enemy is moving. May the royal blessings be upon our forces. Charge! Glory to Haranadan! So I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure you can't do any damage to the units there, and they can't do any damage to me. General Hugh seems nervous. King's force has given us another burden to bear. So you basically just have to hang out here and watch each other smash hopelessly into your vulnerable foes. The orcs actually look these orcs costumes look pretty sweet. Heavy orcs have like the most health and strength overall, I think, in the game, but uh, human knights have like the best defense. So, orcs are tanky as fuck, but human knights are pretty sick. It's my archer status here. Retreat! Retreat! King, level eight. Retreat area and press the A button to retreat. Retreat. Retreating is actually pretty good. You suffer no penalties from running away. Like the enemies don't do damage to you while you're running. Lure them into the woods. Archers, ready your flame arrows. Archers, move. Flame arrows, like. I think you only use them in this mission, and I think the enemy uses them in one mission. They're pretty, it's a pretty cool like mechanic and animation, but it doesn't really do much, and half the time it doesn't work as you'd think. So I'm not entirely sure where it. Uh no. Maybe 
go. I love that animation. Works. There you go. Now, normally the AI wouldn't be that brain damaged to just run straight into fire. It, you're better off shooting it at enemies that are already the in the woods. Fallen. Perfectly executed. Good work, Gerald. General Yu, you have a fine officer. Gerald, is it? Yes, sire. He is our finest officer. Oh yeah, 300 XP. I remember this mission being super hard as a kid. In the story, he's kind of immortal. Let's go. And he's level 50. That's pretty fucked. <laughs> you can't kill him. And like, I don't know why his orcs are fireproof, but... Did I see what I think I saw? So this is where healing comes in handy. You're going to be seeing this screen quite a bit. Oh yeah, he's going to fire mode. When you play as Rainier, holy shit. If you set yourself on fire, it actually sucks your SP out so hard, but you can just fucking murder me. I'm not entirely sure why I'm still engaged with Gerald. It's pointless. Protective game and retreat. And it's funny too, since it's like, this is supposed to be like the biggest battle in Herodotus history or whatever, and it's just like, my squad, a squad of archers, the king and Hugh. It seems, because like later on missions in like Renier and Kendall's, you get fucking huge battles, like dozens of allied units and squads of guys all over the place. And those battles mean nothing, but this one is like, oh my god, all the infantry is wiped out, and there's like six dudes that he killed. Like showing off the new heavy infantry, and a nice, nice snazzy. This, the guy like Conquistador kind of looks, what are they called, Turcos? Turco helmets? Which way is Essa? Northwest. Escort his majesty there. Gerald, but, but General Hugh. See, I didn't have healing when I first played this as a as a young so chap, so that entering. strange He's engagement with Rainier, I just did he just murders your health. Darks are hiding in the woods. How will we pass? Use the scouts to lure them out and then burn them to hell. Then we must first use the map to I think it wants me to set fire to the woods and shit. Fuck that. I got longbows and a level 10. Oh, they got officers too. Look at that. I'm gonna fucking murder these guys. And heals. I'm just gonna get all this XP. All this XP. Archers awaiting order. <laughs> Quick heal. Problem is, the healing spell has a shorter range than uh, the longbow's actual bows. So you're rarely ever actually getting the full extent of the longbow's range. Like I said, this mission really wants you to do like scouts and lures and stealth. There's a lot of stealth levels in this game, but oh my god, there's one with Lucretia later on. It's like the worst mission in the fucking game, and there's it has multiple ways to beat it, but it's super hard either way. And I can see if I can try and cheese it this time because normally I just go like normal strats, but it wants you to do this kind of shit, like lure squats. I would not make noise. There's like a noise meter that they introduce for one mission, one mission alone, and it's like, what are you doing? And nine out of ten times it just revolves around you and them just, you just fighting off wave after wave of enemies. And eventually they run out. So they're still doing a decent amount of damage. But that heals, man. Oh my god. Like, you cannot beat this. I don't care who you are. You will not beat this game without heals. 
it's just attrition alone. Like, you have to fight like these three squads of just regular orc heavies that I've been fighting have taken my health down enough quite a bit. Oh, there's an officer. The officers have like a little bit furrier jackets, I guess. And they have a helmet with horns on it too, so. They're actually kind of hard to spot. in all the orcs. Like, I can take my time here. It's not like there's any enemies chasing me. It's not like Rainier is going to come get me later. That'd be shitty if it did. But it'd be kind of neat to see if I could beat them. You probably won't be able to. It'll probably be immortal as usual, but... Like the old GoldenEye method, if you if you manage to cheese your way into a part where the character... If you, if you chase down Ormov in the silo level, he's actually immortal. Unless you golden gun him right off the bat. Which is pretty sweet. Tricks of the trade, yo. More orcs. So this, I prefer this method because not only do I get to actually just button mash a bit more, but you do get more experience, I think. Because you get... Oh, no, you get more gold because you're using more X SP to... Because every hit you do, I'm not getting SP because I'm maxed out because there's no SPs for healing. So we got a squad of heavies over there. Haven't aggroed them yet. The AI on this, there's, in this one, it's not as good as the expansion. The AI on expansion is a bit better. In this one, they'll usually are all enemies usually aggro to the closest unit, which is more often than not your main character, like Gerald or such. But in the expansion, Heroes, uh, the AI goes out of their way to flank and go after your archers and mortars and such. And it makes, it makes the battles a little bit more tense and a little bit more micromanagement, which I guess could intim intimidate some... Uh, newer players because this game doesn't hold your hand there is a tutorial mode in the camps where you do your barracks and stuff we can actually like do a little demonstration of how spearmen work and how archers work and stuff but it's not that thorough oh, this is worse you always find the officer is the last guy the second last guy alive yes yeah, so he died and I didn't even kill him now, my goal is to eventually get a Paladin officer in Gerald's unit. So I can swap out if I get hires, if I can hire subbies. Which is what, in Canadian Navy terms, you call your uh, sub-lieutenants. Uh, if you get a subby, you can swap out like Rupert or Ellen, because they suck, for them. So you can get their special abilities. So Paladin subbies, they give you a... Uh, whoop, I'm kind of stuck on a tree here. Paladin subbies give you a heal spell that you can use in mid-fight, as opposed to like like this, where she'll do her bow thing. You can get the officer to cast heal in mid-fight, or you can, if you get a wizard one, you can get him to cast lightning or fire, etc., etc. Unlocked cure ratio. Also, cure ratio, like most Japanese RPG-style games, damages undead. Just like Final Fantasy, if you heal an undead, like you use a revive an undead unit. There's actually one famous boss in Final Fantasy X, which is an awesome game. It's coming to Switch. I'm going to totally buy it again, a fourth time. Um, there's like a zombie dragon that if that's really hard if you fight him normally, but if you just cast like revive on him or something, it instantly kills him, which is fucking awesome. You can't really do that. You can cast. You can't. There's no real resurrect spells, like I said. So you can just keep. You can just spam heals, and it'll heal you and damage them. But Ghouls are fucking tanky. I want to say they're tankier than Orc Heavies, but the game claims that Orc Heavies are the tankiest in the game, so uh, we'll see. I like these good just infantry on infantry, but I have the advantage because I have archers as well battles. If I can, I'll get some mortars. There's a level later on that's really tough, and it requires crossing a river that's really narrow and you get your asses kicked or shot while you're coming across. If you can get mortars or something, you can shoot across the river and kill the archers that are giving you a hard time. Cool. Moving on. What does the king have? Oh, he just has four knights. And this is an escort mission, but luckily the AI is pretty decent with their the AI. They won't like aggressively search out enemies, they'll just hang back. If they somehow get engaged, they'll usually just they'll try and run away. Damn, if it's not one thing, it's another. Dark Knights. Let's get out of the trees here, boys, so you don't get your arrows blocked. Archer. 
wow, this is actually closer than I thought. On the map, it looks way, uh... Uh oh where are they going? Huh. So their AI must be programmed to go right after the king. Interesting. Fight. Retreat. Okay, so this is what, this is a trick of the trade here, see. My archers are engaged, so I'm going to pull back with my Gerald. Gerald is going to engage. And they're going after the king still. Okay, so... All that AI shit I was talking about is total dog shit. Because I forgot in this mission they have their own specific algorithms. Yeah, okay. So I feel like they're going to chase, chase the king for a while there, so... Uh-oh. Okay. Well, let's fucking try and kill these uh, Dark Knights as quickly as possible. See, when you see Longbow attack bonus plus, that means they have no obstructions, there's no sun in their eyes, there's no trees in the way. They're getting extra XP, so they're doing their full 100% damage, which is really good against uh, infantry squads. And you can see in the bottom right, you can see the king's health bar, so I know I'm in good shape. Luckily for me, since they have so few units in a squad, like, you one heal, it will usually bring his health back to full. Plus Dark Knights, I think, are the, like, Dark Elf Infantry and Dark uh, Elf Knights are the worst melee units in the game, I think. Besides Spearmen, but they're not meant for melee, in prolonged melee engagements. Because you got Human Infantry, which are just tank, or like, they're, like, they're high resistance, but they're average. And then the Orc Infantry, which is really, uh, really tanky. Charge! Enemies on high ground. What? Whatever. Get my quick heal, anyways. Ah, see, look, the king leaves. He bails. I like that. Because, as every fucking gamer knows, escort missions are the bane of existence. The only thing probably worse than an escort mission is a follow mission. Assassin's Creed is infamous for these, where you fucking have to. Have Follow a group of douchebags as they have a chat about some fucking dumb fruit or something. And you have to not, not get too close, but not get too far. I remember GTA 3 had a couple of those, and they were so fucking annoying. Because if you got too close, they'd recognize you. If you got too far away, you'd lose them. And you had to say, just in the right sweet spot for you, the conversation to be overheard. It's like, oh my god, like... Fucking plant a bug on their phone. Or say you did in a story thing, like, fucking playing the mission's not fun, you want to, especially in GTA, you want to run around and fucking beat up hookers and shit, you don't want to be sitting in a taxi cab listening to two guys talk about fucking cocaine. Alright. See, mission piece of cake. Zero casualties, that's the goal, get zero casualties for a level. I think I just have to, yeah, I just have to walk up here. I highly, I'm, I'm playing this on the 360, although this is an Xbox original game. I recommend playing it on 360 because the, the loading times and the, fra and the frame rate and it looks like the draw distance is much better. Your Highness, quickly, this way. We're going to Essa. Sad because the expansion does not play on 360. It's a pain in the dick. Oh. That's a lot of experience. Look at that. Do the math on that shit. 84 kills, 420 experience. Haha, <laughs> weed. Longbow, 116 kills, 7,000. 7,000 is the maximum experience you can go to. I think that's for the orcs that I killed in the uh, fire. I think they were, they were level 12. So, I think it counts as like a percentage above my level or something. Oh yeah, I guess Hugh's dead. We must head for Essa. Had we not been there, Hugh would not have been so desperate. By our foolish desires, we have lost a great general. Think only of your safety for now, Majesty. General Hugh gave us this chance with his life. We must hurry. Lead on. Essa. Storm Essa while we're gone. 
We need every soldier we have. Helen! General Hughes alive! It wouldn't sh- Thank you, Groot. If we split our forces, how will we defend this place? And what if we meet Renier with our split troops? Then we truly doom ourselves. You, Yella. Ellen's right, Rupert. I'm as torn as you are, but we have no choice. You're gonna let Hugh rot in hell? Damn the both of you. Rupert. He had no call to say that. He's not mad at us. Look, Rupert and I were orphans. Nobody gave a damn about us except for Hugh. He's been like a father to us. Practically raised us. He showed us how to be men, to be soldiers. And your father told you what he wanted. You must respect his wishes. I know. You're right. Swords first, heart second. Just give Rupert a little time. Hey, the soldiers must be tired. Give them some food out of the storage to lighten their moods. But stay sharp. I'll go see his majesty. Big jerk. Okay, boss. Pretty good, uh... Story here. Okay, so I'm gonna level him up to 15. That gives him knights. Yeah. Alright. I might save... Uh, okay, we'll see what the next mission is. Because if I can, I want to save my experience. So when I hire some guys, I can make mortars or something. Mind you, actually. Oh no, I got holy on them. Shoot. I could have probably made my archers into mortars. Glad you came. I apologize that Essa is too humble a place for His Majesty's comfort. There no need for formalities now. I must speak with you on a matter of importance to the realm. Gerald, the troops need a leader they can follow. Therefore, you will fill the late general. Uh, I'm not worthy, sir. General Hugh thought you were. He told me so many times. I happen to agree. And now it appears to be God's will as well. Accept the commission. By order of your king. I live to serve your majesty. It's a pretty good story, yeah. Like, pretty mature Sister story Lord. elements. Ah, General General. Oh, that's Wiener. Please, Walden, not now. I was just going to congratulate you. Right. Oh, I'm bitter about it. But still, congratulations are in order. Well, I don't really feel like being congratulated. I'm sorry about General Hugh, though. My sympathy. Thanks. Hey, you were right about Rainier. How'd you know? I hear things. Wish I could have done something more. Anyway, I also hear the hecks are moving in the south. So? I caught a heck while on patrol yesterday. A surveyor of sorts. You know what that means? I'm making <laughs> Couldn't get much from torturing it, but I did pluck out this parchment. Filthy as hell. It says a horde of sappers is passing to the southeast two days from now. And the beauty of it is... They don't know that... Hmm. Thanks. Well, if it isn't that general himself... Look, Rupert. What? You left him out there, then you come back and take his boat? Get away. I thought you were done drinking. Shut it. You wanted to see me, boss? Am I interrupting? Hex are passing through the south two days from now. Walden has already sent scouts, so we'll know more about it soon. Ready the men. You think Walden's reliable? Gerald, the scouts are back. The darks have passed Woodenshade, and will probably be at Lord's Lane by tomorrow's sunset. They're closer than we thought. If they pass Lord's Lane, we'll have to take them head on. Any idea? If we hurry, we can surprise them at Lord's Lane. We could surprise them good. I'll have the men assembled at the castle gate. Okay, so this I might I'm going to level them up. Oh, let's go to let's go to twenty. I save the rest of that experience for making some mortars, or I think I get cavalry in one of these next missions. So yeah. Oh, I don't even get my goddamn longbows. Fuck. God damn it. Oh, it only heals in time. Fuck. Soon their transport will be seen in the south. We'll wreak havoc on them. Be ready. Walden surprised me by helping us out, boss. I agree. Oh, hang on. According to the information from Walden, the enemy transport is going to pass through the south. This is the only way south, since a cliff stretches from the west to the east. 
we will set traps on the transport's path and ambush them. It's critical that we do not reveal our plan to others. Avoid confrontation with the enemy at all costs. Dismissed. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna give my sappers Holy, I know I took this skill out a long time ago, but I'm gonna give it back to them. I don't really need to give them, I don't, I don't need to level up their melee or anything. They're fucking worthless anyways. This cavalry's gonna be doing most of the work here. All right. I just need something to be able to heal. Unfortunately, I forgot that you can't use archers in this level. So. <laughs> this is another one of those like specific missions. Uh, Scripted, if you will. That's the word I'm looking for. Not just open-ended, like, oh, destroy all enemies, Ellen, which are always time is my favorite. <laughs> One hour glass worth. Good. Ellen, keep me updated on the time. Oh yeah, they're gonna be knights. will ambush the enemy transports and attack them when they're trapped. Ellen, mark the places to install the traps. Enemy scouts. If we approach them, they'll run off to warn the other screamers. Cavalry are pretty legit in this game. Like I said, don't do a lot of damage, although they can, potentially, but they uh, they make it so you can pretty much have infinite heals, and you can engage enemy archers. Oh yeah, it's just, try not to talk too much during this mission too, because the soundtrack's badass. Although it can drive you nuts, because I was whenever I'd play this in my old place in Kingston, I would leave a pause for sometimes when I go for a shit or something, and uh, oh, there's a horde of them. Steady. What level are they? General, you will come to help. Rupert, get a hold of yourself. He was dead. We'll oh, I see. 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 Focus. The cavalry and ourselves will attack the ones uh -oh. who survive the traps. Sappers, set those. Oh, traps. the cavalry got stuck in a. That sucks. Okay. Well, this is going to be a an interesting. Sappers are done. You are not the only one who's grieving, Booker. I need you, brother. You bet. Okay. This is going to be a challenging fight. Luckily, like I'm level 20. I don't think they expected me to spend my experience that way. I don't know. Fight with me. He watches us even now. Yeah, they set off the traps. Fuck, that's a lot of works. Let's get the out of there. I think they kind of missed. All right, let's do this. Sapper, stay back. I need you for healing. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Now comes the micro. So cavalry are most effective when you do three waypoints to do a successful attack with cavalry. Okay. Now, since I'm a much higher level, but I'm gonna just out of pure attrition, since I'm engaged with five fucking squads. My health is going to go down semi-fast. But, uh, oh yeah, look at the cap, cap, or, uh, cavalry doing it already. With cavalry giving me all the SP, no problems. Infantry are, like, the easiest thing to just, like, tank damage from. It's the range shit, and enemy cavalry, and wyverns especially, oh god. Aircraft, well, not aircraft, but that's my military side coming out. We're still moving. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, you want to go one, two, three. One, two, three. like engage, retreat, and turn around, engage, retreat. That's like the, the tactics you gotta use with uh, cavalry there. Oh yeah. Thank God I gave healing to my fucking sappers. Otherwise, I'd be in pretty bad shape. Look at that. 
Come get us, cavalry. Cavalry in the sequel aren't the same as this either. They're just like a spell they cast to do a charge, and no matter how much momentum and speed they have, it doesn't actually. It just does like a specific amount of damage. It's fucking unfortunate, man, because they got some. Oops. You didn't do that. It's unfortunate because you got some really great mechanics in this game, like cavalry charges and high ground and sun in your eyes and shit. So now I gotta set traps on all these bad boys. They're gonna be coming at us with scorpions and stuff too. They really expected me to set all those traps and lure all those orcs, but like I said, with enemy infantry, it's unnecessary, man. Just fucking. I'm level 20 for fuck's sakes, and I got heals and cavalry. Having, if you. Especially online, when you play this game online, which was awesome, by the way. Infantry on infantry, it's just like in real war. It's like two pieces of. two slabs of meat slapping against each other. It's the moment that one of you gets something different, whether it's. Spearmen or archers or cattle, anything, cavalry, not sappers because they're shit. Um, you get a, an insane advantage. Like, when you first start off in this game online, you just start off with like 10 uh, default squads of infantry, level 1. The moment you get enough experience to get one archer, with, even with one range skill, you will absolutely dummy your opponent, as you'd expect. Like, not even a little bit. It's like crazy how one arrow can kill like entire fucking squads of guys and you're 5v5 just slapping meat against each other although sometimes me and my friends would just do those like 10 level 100 infantry squads just smash each other because it was just like lord of the Rings style epic or whatever I should have a lot of experience after this level too Wants me to do it like one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, but I'm gonna do it like in the between and stuff too. Alright, so let's move Gerald down here. I'm gonna move down here. Let's move that there. Being a sapper would fucking suck. Because it's the equivalent of our combat engineers, as we call them. Although they're not, they're not setting cool traps like this. They're setting, they're laying down artillery track, digging shitholes for people to shit in. Not a glamorous lifestyle, the army. I wouldn't recommend it. Navy's not the, f not the best either. But you do get to travel a lot. I'd say Air Force. You don't have to deal with blowing whistles and doing a little dance whenever a certain turtle does a, takes a shit you have to do a little fucking routine a lot too much tradition in the navy for my liking but do the air force man and you get paid a lot more depending on what you do and is there any, if there's any canadians watching we're desperate for guys so sign up They don't know we're here. Okay, Sappers, let's get another heal to old Jerry.
Yes, doing all the traps and stuff is good story-wise, but I feel like I would have done just as well, if not better, with my longbows. Oh, it's the sappers too. What? Scorpions, one infantry troop. The rest are sappers. When you step on the traps, cavalry take on the sappers. We'll attack the swine infantry and scorpions head off. Wow. Sappers are so junk. I could have done this without even the traps. Scorpions would be a little bit of an issue. Oh, the traps work on the scorpions. Cool. Actually, I did not know that. I never. Yeah, it's dead. I've never actually seen scorpions in the same mission as traps. Because like I said, I never use traps unless the goddamn game forces me to. And judging from the trajectory, it almost looks like they know I'm here. So just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to move down front. And... Oh, this going to be a good cavalry charge, actually, this. Must be reduced squad sizes. It looks like there's three squads, but so this here's the other reason why cavalry is so good. Because this mission, it looks like the enemy wants to keep running to the left, but I can just butt rush them with cavalry, or in this case, my spur. And it'll keep him from running. Wait. Oh, shit. They do want to keep running to the left. This is actually kind of dangerous. Okay, woo! Enemy transport has been eliminated. Good job. Turn to SO. Oh, okay, right on. Oh yeah. Look at that, cavalry kills. Zappers, sure, but that's just because the traps did all the work. Essa in trouble. I got a weird feeling about this. I think His Majesty will be pleased. It's diversion. What? How did the hex come to Essa? Just great. The transport. It was bait. Someone's coming. Ah, I'm saved. What happened here, soldier? Soon after you left, they took us by surprise. Captain Walden evacuated His Majesty and a few others. Essa is in ruins. All the townsfolk and troops left behind were killed. His Majesty has gone to Haranadin then? Yes, sir. That's all I know, sir. Good man. Ellen, give this soldier food and water. Tend to his wound. I don't like this, Gerald. Walden's gonna screw this whole thing up. Damn it. We'll regroup at Haranadin and seek some answers. Smells sour. Nope. Don't like it one bit. All right, with that, I think I'll end it here. Stick. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.